I want to talk a little bit about the end of the story because it's uh, it's it's a disturbing end. It's a very disturbing end. In fact, I hate to see film versions of the story because to me it's just my brain makes it so much creepier um, than than film does. Really, if you've seen The Ring, um, that's completely the image I get of her creeping around uh, the room. Um, and John opening the door and, and, and passing out and she just continues to creep and crawls over him. Just really, you know, your brain really can do some fun things with this. But there's a little bit of um, scholarly disagreement as to what goes on at the end. Some people think that uh, uh, Gilman here kind of pulls a Sunset Boulevard where our narrator is actually dead um, and is writing this posthumously. Um, there's a little bit of evidence for this because she does imply suicide that she you know, that she's got some rope that she saved uh, that she'd love to throw herself out the window but it wouldn't be ladylike. Um, she does take kind of a violent turn at the end of the story, uh, not only self-violent, but she also mentions being violent to other people. Anybody who tries to interfere with her uh, solving the mystery of the yellow wallpaper, so there is a little bit of indication her thought process m would include suicide. Um, also we have that she's kind of creeping around the room. Uh, some people think that maybe she's hung herself and is swaying around the room from the, the, the rope that she's hung herself from. And that would also explain why John faints at the side of her. The other reason that I just don't really buy that interpretation as much is um, we are getting this like diary entry and so logically you have to ask yourself, okay, well she killed herself, how are we reading this? I don't know. Um, maybe I should suspend my disbelief a little, but I, uh, I can on this. Well, what I find more, uh, more important is if you think that she's just uh, completely mentally broke down by the end, it's where, where I kind of fit, or if you think that she um, has basically um, has killed herself. Um, I think the most important thing to look at at the end of the story is John's reaction to what he sees. John is a symbol of patriarchal authority. Um, he's the man who should have the answers of how to fix things. Yet when he's faced with the true, uh, the the true identity of uh, what he's facing, this um, the, the 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 scope of her personality of who she is, has become. When he sees this revealed, it's so overwhelming to him that he faints. And this is very condemning of how much power this male authority actually has, that when male authority actually sees what he's working with, it's so overwhelming that he has no choice but to faint. Um, it's, uh, uh, it, it makes this patriarchal authority uh, very impotent to, to actually solve problems. Instead, it seems that he just creates more. Um, back to the suicide, though. If you read a little of the biography, uh, biography of uh, Gilman herself, she did commit suicide later in life, so uh, there's a little bit more of an interesting parallel there uh, with that. Um, the only, uh, the, there's one more thing I wanted to mention back with the uh, symbolism of the wallpaper. Here I think we have a woman who is faced with chaos. Uh, she's thrust in chaos where things don't make sense, where there is not order. And I think that the wallpaper really does symbolize this for her. Um, she sees this wallpaper and she spends the whole story trying to figure out what's the pattern, what's the order. Uh, she tries to, to, to bring order to chaos that is the wallpaper. And um, I think this is reflective of the society that she's in, that this society is a chaotic society, uh, the role that it puts her in. Uh, but she is forced to try to make sense of her role, and the role doesn't make sense. And it's just the more and more she tries to make her role, her position as a woman, make sense, the more and more uh, chaotic things become, the more and more frustrated she becomes. So I, I do hope you enjoyed the story. Uh, again, this is a story that really does reward second, third, fourth reading. So I bet you'll find many different interpretations as you revisit this story in the future.